So it's that sticky, spiced beef that really is the star of the show here. And with those noodles and the crunchy cucumber, oh, heaven. First up, let's talk about the beef. So I have a mixture of beef short rib and chuck steak for this one. Okay, so the beef short rib has the bone, that's great. That's gonna add some extra sort of gelatin into the mix. And the chuck steak, you're really looking for some bits and pieces that have that nice marbling through the center. All right, so first thing we need to do is add a little bit of oil to my saucepan here. And I want to season each little piece of beef with a bit of salt. Loving care for every single little piece that we have here. I'm gonna sear this beef in batches. Now, this searing part has nothing to do with sealing in juices or anything like that. That's just not the way, technically, food science-y way that cooking meat works. What we're doing here, though, is we're creating flavor. There's a chemical reaction that happens when meat gets nice and brown. And without getting all food science nerdy on you guys, that is what's gonna give us the extra in our dish. So, I don't want these guys to stew. I just want them to get really nice and caramelized and brown. That's why I'm gonna do it in batches. Now take a look at all that magic that's happened in the bottom of that pan, all that brown stuff, that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna add in just a little bit more oil because I didn't get quite as much fat from that beef as I wanted. And I'm gonna add in some onion. And at this point, I use my wooden spoon to really start scraping up some of that flavor from the bottom of the pan. We're gonna deglaze the pan a bit later so you'll see all of that lovely flavor will lift off the bottom. Um, but for the moment, I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic. And just while those onions are softening up, I'm gonna slice some ginger. Okay, here we go with that. Mm, that smell already is so magical. Now, to get all of that stuff off the bottom of the pan, we're gonna deglaze it with some Chinese Shaoxing wine. So you can get this now in a lot of Asian sections in regular supermarkets or try your Asian grocer. It's basically just getting that liquid into that bottom of the pan to lift off all that brown flavor. Okay, now really get in there with your spoon and lift off all of that flavor from the bottom. At this point, I'm gonna add my beef back in. Okay, don't waste any of those resting juices. Get that in there as well. Now for all the additional stuff. I want some soy sauce and some dark soy sauce. That's gonna give us this really lovely, deep, dark color. And some brown sugar. And now for the spices. So I've got some whole star anise and a cinnamon stick. And I'm using some of my homemade Chinese five spice. You can find the video for that on my YouTube channel. The flavor is intense. So a little sprinkling of that. And now here's where we go a little bit rogue. So this is not a traditional ingredient, but tomato paste has a huge amount of umami and savory flavor. It's like concentrated flavor bomb. So even though it's not traditional, we're gonna put that in. And get all of that lovely stuff mixed together. Now lid on and just let that gently simmer away for about 90 minutes or until that beef is really fork tender. Now, let's see what kind of epicness has happened while we've been away. Mmm, that smell, oh, that beef, so delicious. Okay, so let's get these spices out first of all. I've got those two pieces of star anise, to remember? And my cinnamon stick as well. And now, let's deal with the beef situation. So I wanna take these bones out, obviously, and let's just take a look. That beef is so soft and tender, that complete bone just falls out, amazing. I just want some nice chunky bits of beef here. So I'm gonna slice through this beef and it is oh, so tender. Okay, now this beautiful and luscious broth that we have going on here, I wanna thicken it up with a little bit of corn flour and water. Mix that together a little bit. Okay, now I just want that to simmer away for a couple more minutes until I get a really thick, luscious, glossy sauce. Just as that's starting to bubble, I can see a little bit of the sort of beef fat and oil that's accumulating on the top there. So I'll just scoop some of that off. It's not really very much, but it's easy to take off. Okay, so we're at the point now where our grazing liquid is now the most amazing, delightful gravy sauce consistency. So I'm gonna put all of that beef back in. Now just stir all of that beef through. Okay, so to serve this up, I have some Chinese egg noodles. Um, I just cooked them in some boiling water and just tossed them with some sesame oil so they didn't get too sticky and we want some of that amazing beef. Okay, and I want just a little bit of greenery and crunch. So I'm gonna add some cucumber on the side 
I want a little sprinkling of some spring onion on the top. And then this is totally optional, but you guys know that I love my spice. So I'm using some of my homemade chili oil just to finish off with some extra epic flavor. 